Hello there YouTube, if you watched my last video you see that I charged a 2 and 3 cell pack off of one of these G3 220G power packs which are capable of charging 2 and 3 cells. Um, my crazy idea is using two of these units, charging two cell packs to charge a 4 cell pack. Now I haven't added any balance leads because I'm just going to draw this out quickly. Um, so if we have these lined up like this and we have four cells we want to charge, we're going to have one, two, three, four cells. So we're going to need to join this up. Because this charges through balance leads, as opposed to uh, having balanced leads attached and then charging through the positive and negative end of the battery, we should be able to get away with utilizing these two together to charge four cells without causing any damage to the chargers or the cells, hopefully. But we're going to try this the hard way anyway. So, I have my four cell pack and I'm going to need to charge um, each cell individually as this does and we're going to have yellow, black and red from the first charger across two cells and then we're going to have yellow, black and red across the other cells. So when we get to this part in the pack here we are in fact going to have to join these two wires together on the same terminal. So I'm just going to solve this up really quickly and show you where it is on the pack and uh, we'll go from there. Right, so I have them all connected up. So here we have bottom negative, which is down here. We then we have black, which is there. We have the red positive and the yellow negative. The red from the <laughs> second pack and the... Oh dear, this is terrible, isn't it? And the... And the yellow negative of the first pack go into the black middle and the red top positive. So yellow, black, red. So now we need to know if this is going to work, if this is going to charge. So let's introduce the lithium phosphate pack without burning everything to soldering iron. And we'll move this up onto here. It's all connected bar the chargers one and two. It's going to connect my banana leads into here, so negative. seem to be getting some sort of back feed because this one's lit up and positive and they are going uh, the one saying it's not getting enough power so I'm just going to cut this here and figure out what's going on right so after much playing about um, there isn't a way to get this to work if you plug in if you plug in the top one, you get the 0.5 amp hour light lit up. If you unplug it, it goes out. If you plug one in on charge, it will automatically start charging and balancing them. And if you do it the other way around, It will start charging them, but if you add the other one in, you get a problem. Just give it a few more seconds. Nope, and nothing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to unplug this one, and it persists to flash. 
reset it by taking power off and adding power back in. We'll start to charge, uh, but when you plug the other one in, it goes haywire. But this one will proceed to charge. If we swap these around the other way, and add power, it starts to charge, and then the other one shows a fault. If I disconnect everything, this one then shows it's been backfed. I guess I'm not an electronics expert. So at least it hasn't let out the magic smoke and there may be a, round, uh, a way around this by actually splitting the pack at that point with a simple switch but for now I don't think it's going to be something that I pursue um, so yeah this video has basically finished because I can't continue with what I was planning to do but mm, there is a way around it if I, if I felt the need to do it by putting a switch in at the end of the pack. The idea of this was actually to charge this lithium ion phosphate pack which is in here but it's just going to be too fiddly to do it plus if I was to do that and split the pack in the middle I'd have to put a switch in somewhere it is possible but I can't be bothered and also charging it on the balance leads as these devices do it would actually negate the use of this little power meter up here which is actually quite ac accurate which I'll do a video on uh, on my next project which should be coming out soon I've started it uh, just got loads of video to edit try and edit because we get so slow anyway so yes charging through balance leads would ne negate this because this would not actually tell me whether it was uh, charging or depleted or how many amp hours or what hours I have left so that might be a blessing in disguise anyway. Right, well I couldn't just leave the video as it was so I decided to try it anyway. So now there is a switch separating two cells from the other two. Um, so one balance lead sticks to one side so that's one. And the other balance lead is on this side. Now with the switch in the on position it will give you your 16.8 and uh, with it off you should be able to charge it properly through these through these chargers so basically um, I'm going to plug these in into the two cell slots I'm then going to plug in the lead and they should be away. Let's have a quick look off the tripod. Two cells charging, two cells charging. Let's change them up to two amp. And let's just have a look at the current that is drawing from the lithium ion phosphate pack and plugged in. So you're looking at about 3.1 amps which actually shows at 39 watts and these should run at 20 watts anyway they're rated at 20 watt chargers so it is doing its job um, and if I unplug the chargers and turn the switch on and try and charge it again we get the one showing the problem whereas the other one starts charging if I then unplug it for some reason now that one decides that the uh, lead wants to light up. Now if I put the switch back to the other way, so the, effectively the pack is now switched in half. They will now charge. So it proves it works. And uh, I, to be honest, I, I might invest my time in doing this maybe when I come to change this pack around because this was only my uh, development pack just to see what I really needed in the case and I figured out what I need in the case uh, more USBs and um, a couple of uh, of the male 
12, 12? No, 5.5 or 2.1 jack. So I'll be implementing that in my next case build. I think I found just the sort of case to fit these lithium ion phosphate cells in. Uh, obviously you can't see them because they're under here. But yeah, so I'm quite, yeah, proves it works, proves it can be done. But just depends whether you want to have a switch in the middle of your pack. Thing is, you need to remember to switch it off and uh, I was trying to get away from the procedure of having to do things before you charge, like the IMAX you have to set up, tell it to charge. With these, you can just plug it in, let it go, but as you have to have a switch in, in line, it kind of makes it a little bit more, less desirable. So yeah, thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe, comment, rate, and I'll see you in my next video. Cheers.